Hi you guys, so today's video is going to be an Indian doll review, like she's a generic fashion doll. And before we get that video started, I just want to make two quick announcements that Barbie has reproduced an old, um, if you guys are from the 60s and you have, you remember the little, um, the Barbie house that was all paper, like the paper furniture and everything from the 60s, you know that kind of vintage like the fold up house that they used to have a long time ago? Well, they've actually reproduced it, which I saw it on like Twitter, I think. So they reproduced the Barbie doll from the 60s, but it's like a ponytail girl with the little, you know, curly bangs. And I think it was 65, 1965, where they had the paper house and paper furniture. They reproduced all of that for $100 with free shipping and handling, I think, for a limited time. But the only bad thing is, you guys, it's not going to be released till October. So, I mean, you have to wait for a little while. It's going to be a minute before anything comes out. I'm very excited about that. The fact that they released a whole entire Barbie house and everything's made out of paper. Like legit, you get sheets, you have to sit there and like fold and build the furniture, you know, to put and you, and you get to arrange it however you want to and it comes with a Barbie from 1965. So I think that's the year for the house and the Barbie doll itself. So, um, so today's video is gonna be a generic clone Indian. I know a lot of you guys like my clone and my fashion doll hauls when I do do them because I do get a lot of views on them. So I'm assuming that you guys like them. I do have a very small shelf of Indians right there. I don't buy them very often. So I, I, when I can see them and I can catch them, you know, I'll buy what I can. So um, I got it from online. I think it was eBay. I just, I don't know. Like I was just searching on eBay. You know, you just like scrolling through eBay and you just happen to find something that you like. Um, I got two coming in. I got one coming all the way from Greece, but it's the same company. But, um, this one comes with a bunch of accessories and then, and then the other one is just a doll itself and she's coming from Greece. So she's going to take about two weeks to come in and after I get her in, she'll, um, I'll do my review on her, but she's made by the same company as this one. So, um, so she's a little bit beat up. I think she's from the nineties. The seller said something about it was from the nineties. I don't know. I don't see a lot of um, fashion um, Indian dolls just in general. I used to see them a lot when I was younger. When I was younger, like at 1990 something, I was a lot, a lot younger than I am now. But um, I remember seeing a tons and tons of fashion dolls, but like Indian type fashion dolls. I don't see them anymore. I just see like a black girl or a white girl. You know what I'm saying? They just make a basic doll. But I think a little bit. A little while ago when I was younger, they used to have a lot of Indian princess fashion dolls that were Barbie size, but not like the big giant ones, but like the Barbie size ones. They used to have them a long time ago, and I remember seeing them in stores, but I never did get one. So this is an Indian fashion doll. She's not a Barbie brand doll. She's like a generic uh, knockoff. She's, look at all the jewelry. She's got necklace, necklace. Um, is that a pair? What is that? Yeah, it's a pair, um, a hair clip. Um, some grapes and a totem pole, bananas, and an actual boat. So she does come with a boat like Pocahontas. This girl can go in the water, I'm, I'm assuming. I don't, even, I don't even know if this boat floats, but probably not. Um, the doll itself is in some kind of cellophane. You know, remember when they used to do this? They used to do this to, a long time ago with the dolls, too, from when I was little. They used to do this, like the really cellophane-y packaging. You know, like everything was really tied in there, you guys. But, um, and so she's kind of blind right now, but, um, she'll be coming up the package in a minute. Um, she's got little matching shoes and clone doll, you know, body, you know, just posable legs and arms. She's got a basic clone doll body, basic generic doll body. That jewelry is so pretty right there. But, I mean, she's got a decent sized boat. It looks like it's hollow, so we're going to pop her out this packaging. And she's called the Indian with Accessories. So if you guys are looking for her, she's called the Indian with Accessories. I just searched um, Indian doll. Like, I don't even know what I searched for. I just, I was just, you know, you just type in random things. I'm just saying. Just search Indian doll, Indian. She's called the Indian doll. That's all. I just typed, I don't know. I just was scrolling through and That's all I could say. But I'm a proper out the packaging. I'm going to let you know quality and, you know, how heavy duty she is considering she's from way back when, so she might be a little bit more on the better quality side. So, stay tuned. I will say this too, I do love Indian clone dolls. I think they're so cool and so very unique. Um, so when I, when I see them online, I don't search for them very often, but when I do see them, I do buy them. 
I don't buy them very often now. I want to say this, like everything, all of the accessories except for the boat is hollow. So it's like there's no back to them. There's just a front. So it's very convincing packaging. So this is like the grapes or berries of some kind, but it's all hollowed out. So there's no, um, no type of anything, you know. So they're like grapes or berries. There's some bananas right here. I think this is all really cute accessories in my opinion. I think this is adorable. That's some bananas here, but there are, this is hollow also. It could be like for a bowl or something like that. This would be great for Barbie dolls too. This is like Barbie sized items, I guess you could say. Um, so these are the bananas right here. These are the hair clips. They do have like two hair clips. Um, everything is a very generic quality, so it's not anything of quality. It's like a dollar store doll. Like if you buy a generic dollar store doll and she came with accessories and she was a dollar, you know what I'm saying? She's just very generic -y type accessory. These are some clips right here. They're like little generic -y clone doll clips. It's a, it's a pair and it's a um, heart. There's some hair clips right here. This is like a Mardi Gras B um, type, I don't know, negligee right here. No clip in the back, just a very generic -y, you know, bead thing. Um, the totem pole is hollow also. So this totem pole right here is also hollow. It's cute though, right? This would be something that you'd find in like an Indian, um, Native American, like, you know what I'm saying? Like a theme a theme area, like a Native American, like, I think, what was it? Oh, Atoka, Oklahoma, I think I went to, and they had a lot of like themed uh, Native American type parks and themed uh, parks down there. I know you guys have really, in real Indians down there, but I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like a generic or a fake Indian park type thing. This is the type of merch I would think I would see there. You know what I'm saying? Not to offend anybody, but you know what I'm saying? Just a regular it just really generic -y stuff that they buy from China just to sell, resell, and make profit off of and not be official, handmade, Native American quality stuff. Because I have, I have like, what did I have? What did I buy from there? I don't remember. But I bought some stuff that the Indians really did make and it's really nice quality stuff. This is like stuff that they buy from China to resell to make profit off of. This is not anything official, Native American merch. But this is hollow also. It's really a shame. But I mean, they do sell this, they do resell this to kind of stuff down there. I did see stuff like this, but it was really overpriced, like 20 bucks for this doll pack in general. You know what I'm saying? It just wasn't worth it to me. You could find these really a really clearance price. This the this jewelry is very pretty though. Very, very cute. This was about five dollars for all of this. I mean, it was very, very cheap. You could find this stuff really cheap online if you look. You just got to know good prices, you know. And the only thing that wasn't really hollow was the boat. The, the boat's so heavy. They're so like, look, this is the boat. It's it's a cute little boat, right? And this is like a vintage 90s doll set. So this is not a modern doll set because I don't, I don't see any knockoff or clone Indian anything anymore. It's very rare to find stuff like this. The boat is, I can imagine, would float because it is a very solid piece. It, it's got all these pretty designs on the, on the back of it. You can see that hopefully. Very cute boat. Now the doll itself is not going to be able to fit because when you sit down a, a generic clone doll, their legs always do spread apart. They're not a Barbie doll. Barbie doll sits straight and a clone doll opens their legs like this. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it is. So the doll itself is pretty heavy duty, but she is a generic clone doll. So she's still on the light plastic side. She's like squishy vinyl, I guess you could say. The outfit's very camo -y. It's very like she's going, I don't know, it's very strange. Let me see the doll. So the doll itself is cute, right? She smells like plastic, like chemicals. Like, you know when you buy a generic or a clone doll, they have that chemically uh, plastic smell? She smells like that. She smells just like plastic. I smell the hair. I don't know why, but I always do that, with, especially with clone dolls. They have the strangest smelling hair I've ever smelled in my life. It smells like chemicals, but it smells like plastic. It's just a really, really chemical smell coming from these guys right here. Because they are generic. They're not anything of quality. Of course, they are generic doll set just in general. But it is very, very cute. I do recommend these if you could find these for a decent price. Don't pay like $20 or $30 for these things. Because you could find these really, really cheap and discounted. But, I mean, they are cute. I do collect these. I do love clone dolls. The hair is kind of decent. You know, it's a little boxy. About a little bit past her butt. 
It does smell like plastic. It's very, very silky. So I do, I mean, you could say that for sure. It is very silky because obviously it was mint in a pack when I first got her. And she's got like a little, is this a one piece? This is a one piece outfit. Okay. So everything's sewn all together. There's no gapage. These are her shoes. They're like just like sewn on little things, easy peasy, you know, sewn on things, you know. Show the Velcro too. I'm gonna be putting her in my in my Indian dolls right there in the background. I do have a couple of generic clone Indian dolls stuck in there, so she'll match perfectly. Um, this is the Velcro right here. Very very nice. I don't. I wish I would. I wish they'd still you know produce these generic cl clone Indians. I really did like them. I remember them very faintly. But I do remember these dolls being out there in the 90s. I mean, it, they were there, you know what I'm saying? So what do you guys think? She's got a very pretty face. No, like, weird, you know, imperfections. She's got a very detailed face for a clone doll. I mean, it's just so strange. She has a twist and turn waist right here. So this is a twist and turn right here. I don't want to, really don't want to bend her too much. She's, you know, clone doll, you know what I'm saying? She's a little bit generic -y. She does have a twist and turn waist. She can sit and stand. Um, her arms move up and down. You know, she's got a very basic clone doll body. Okay. Um, does she have any? She doesn't have any undergarments neither, which she usually never do. But the fact that they, how nicely the outfit's sewn together, and it's actually pretty decent quality um, material. It is like a what is it like? It's very like a like a t-shirt material, which is very surprising that they actually made it out of a um, nice material it's very like i don't know how to say it it's like a t-shirt material almost you know it's not cotton but it is a really nice you know a nice outfit just in general very surprising to me that they have actually you know bothered to actually put a nice outfit on her um she's got some really cute accessories in this she did have some cellophane like around her little top area because obviously she's got wild crazy cheap hair because the cheap hair tends to be really fly away so these are some of her accessories that do not match whatsoever. Typical clone, you know, doesn't match. Don't get it. But this is some fancy jewelry that she has. And I thought it would look pretty on her, but I have it on her. It's not really that cute looking. These are her little beads right here that doesn't really fit her head too, let me say. I'm afraid to even take her little hat off because I know her hair is just going to become crazy. But I'm going to do this for you guys to see if it even fits. Yep, yeah, it fits. The beads don't really match neither. These are the beads around her neck. It's like really stiff and it's not like it's like fashion beads. You know what I'm saying? It's like fashion doll beads. It's not anything, you know, that I would personally pair with her. Just saying. But she does have crazy nylon flyaway, you know what I'm saying? Really crazy cheap hair that's just really static and really flyaway, and that's what's happening right now. Even just pulling her out the packaging, which is crazy. I do have another one coming like this, but the other one doesn't have any accessories. It's just the doll itself, so we're going to see the quality difference between this one and the last one. I'll let you know my honest opinion about that one also. This one's really nice. It's pretty sturdy body. I was very surprised. The clothing is really nice. I mean, it's just a really nice doll overall. So if you can find these, try to find these for a cheap price. But if you pay like $20 or $30, it's still kind of good. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's a clone doll, it's still really a cute doll just in general to have. I did find this on eBay. So if you guys are looking for these, it's called the Indian doll. I don't know why they didn't call it. It's called the Indian, I think it's called. I don't know. So what do you guys think? It's very thinly rooted. She is bald, so she's just got that one little strip down the middle and the two sides. Does she have any hair? No. So Homegirl just has the part in the middle. In the hairline on the side, she's not even rooted like right here, right here. It's just that little thin strip right in the middle. That's the amount of hair that she has, but it is quite long. So I will say that they did give her some length, even though they didn't give her no side, you know, bangs or nothing like that. But she is quite long, so I think she's still cute. So what do you guys think of this doll? I think she's very, very cute and she's very beautiful. I mean, very minimal, nothing makeup, anything. It's just really nice quality material. It's just really, really nice. So let me know what you think about this indie and let me know if you like these clone doll videos by leaving a big like down below and I will continue to do these clone doll videos. Let me know what you think of this indie and let me know if you're gonna be excited for the next one. Um, so just remember to like and subscribe and you'll see more doll videos, bye.